Green Skills module, uh, Introduction to Sustainability. For sustainable food production, when we discuss about sustainability, it's really important to think about farm-to-farm -farm strategy and the aim to reduce environmental and climate uh, impact. So the aim is really to set strategy, to target and to significantly reduce the use and risk of pesticides and also to use to reduce the use of fertilizers. Why? It's important to ensure sustainability, also to supply of food for the world's fast growing population. Food production is one of the key areas that require action. Also, it's uh, estimated that by 2050, the world population will reach 9.1 billion people. For food production, it's uh, in necessary and also it's important that there is going to be increased by 70% to feed the larger and most, most likely more urban population. Therefore, it's important that food uh, will, will have to be produced using less land. Also, in addition, water and er energy will become limiting factors. So when uh, discussing about sustainability and uh, sustainable development goals, also it's important uh, that each uh, country in uh, EU adopt a recommendation for member states addressing nine specific objectives. Uh, also, it's important uh, that there are different uh, type of documents and, uh, pro and uh, legislation that needs to be followed regarding sustainable use of pesticides, plant protection products, pesticide statistics, regulation, also evaluation and revision about animal welfare, also proposal regarding feed additives, and uh, also proposal about farm accountancy data network regulation. And also it's important to follow and support the position in a food chain regard regarding uh, improving of transparency. Also, it's really important to follow EU carbon farming initiative. When discussing about sustainable food production, there are many uh, documents and uh, many data on the uh, web that can be found. Also different kind of uh, initiatives, different uh, kind of uh, panels. And uh, in this document and uh, presentation, there are links uh, on YouTube channel. So it's uh, easable uh, to watch. For sustainable food sources, it's important uh, to, uh, we have definitely different, different challenges. It's important to meet uh, increasing global demand uh, for proteins and also to, uh, in, to have uh, crops and also to have uh, sustainable production. Also, there is increased demand uh, to intensify pressure on land due to need of, uh, to produce more uh, animal feed. Also, there is increase the, for the conversion of forests, wetlands and natural grasslands into agricultural lands, also with negative consequences on green, greenhouse gas emissions, also biodiversity, pollution and other ecosystem health indicators. It's really important to focus on climate change effects on agriculture and expected it to threaten the global production of plant protein production from traditional sources, in example, from cereals of, uh, or legumes. Uh, protein sources, nowadays, there are traditional sources of protein, so plant, pro plant origin uh, or from meat, also from dairy, uh, from fish and shellfish, shellfish and also other animal products. Animal protein consumption, total global consumption of animal proteins is, is expected to be increased by 70% uh, until 2030. So uh, there is a need definitely to think about uh, vegan uh, protein, uh, protein source and also to think about novel sources of protein that includes alternative plants, aquatic photo, uh, photosynthetic uh, organisms, microorganisms and uh, insects. So also for the uh, uh, breeding uh, of new uh, plants and also for the consumption and also for the usage of uh, plant source uh, for, uh, for proteins, there is need to use traditional also emerging technologies and approaches uh, along the food chain. So uh, for traditional uh, uh, technologies, we have like an example, physical inspection in the first place also uh, there is a raw material quality check, also there is a gentle processing, there is a food packaging, 
there is freezing, cooling, storage, also consumption, and what is really important to monitor food processing waste. Also, we have uh, different traditional and emerging technologies that can be used in uh, quality monitoring uh, and also processing, packaging, distribution and uh, valorization of uh, food processing waste. So challenges for sustainable food value chains, uh, we need to ensure sustainable food systems for increasing uh, urban population, also to obtain consensus uh, on sustainability indicators for food processors. So legislation is really important here. A greater attention that needs to be paid uh, for the development of business models using uh, interdisciplinary approach and also integration of uh, entire food value chain. Uh, future resource efficient food processing will also need to concentrate and take advantage of existing biosystems from microorganisms. So host, uh, plant, animal, humor, human and as well as food microbiome, so uh, human interaction. Strategies uh, exist and uh, also we need to follow sustainable development goals and sustainable development uh, indicators uh, regarding the resource management, sustainable processing and improved uh, food delivery, also influencing behavior and development uh, consumer trust, and also integration of uh, those policies and strategies along the food value chain. So we need to manage, uh, reduce, uh, generate, and also regenerate uh, byproducts. Also, we need to develop, uh, develop sustainable systems, exploit alternative energy sources, build sustainable practices, develop food processing based on prefer preferences, acceptance and nutritional needs, principles for, uh, for consumers. Also, we need to encourage and improve uh, transparency and sustainable and responsible consumption and processing. And also we need to uh, re-evaluate, create, promote and expand uh, interdisciplinary uh, in order to assure sustainability of food systems. So sustainable development has been defined as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. So this decade, uh, 2020 until 2030, is a decade of action. So there is a need for action to tackle growing poverty, empower women and girls, and also to address climate emergency. Uh, so we have each year a sustainable development report uh, that is issued by Sustainable Development Solution Network, a global initiative for the United Nations. And we can also uh, find and track uh, data for each country. So each country, uh, so for each country, we can track uh, sustainable development uh, ongoing moves, and also we can track uh, challenges, significant challenges. We can uh, track uh, SDGs, sustainable development goals that have been uh, achieved, and also we can uh, track and monitor the improvement uh, of each country. So uh, we have a document uh, that is issue, issued in. Uh, 2015 by uh, United Nations. So this is uh, 2030 ag Agenda for Sustainable Development. And according to UN uh, agenda, there is great concern of future needs in environmental protection, food production, health, water and uh, uh, other areas. So there is a document that uh, is uh, 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development with 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Also, we have sustainable development indicators that are structured along uh, the, these 17 uh, SDGs. Also, uh, 37 of those uh, 102 indicators are multi-purpose. So there is uh, used uh, to monitor more than one uh, SDGs. So regarding food technologies uh, and uh, when discussing about uh, sustainability, sustainability in uh, vegan food processing, sustainability in general, so we need to think about uh, food technology and uh, sustainable techniques. So uh, in the food supply chain, so from uh, raw production over processing, packaging and until uh, consumers uh, usage, we have uh, a lot of uh, food waste, food loss and food waste that occurs along the food supply chain. So in Europe, 22% of total food available that is uh, lost or wasted uh, in Europe, and also we have uh, different uh, types of food loss and waste, waste uh, across the uh, food production chain. 
So from production, handling and storage, processing, distribution and market and also consumption. Also, we see uh, in North America and Oceania, uh, there is 42% uh, of uh, food loss and waste that is um, lost because of uh, not consuming uh, those foods. So it's really just discarded. So the aim is to go uh, with zero waste processing and also net zero processing for the future. So uh, for that, we have different kind of technologies, uh, thermal, non-thermal technologies, and the aim to go uh, in net zero processing is to go with technologies that are using less energy. So there is a low emission of CO2. And also the idea is to use uh, lo uh, less water in the production. The aim is also to produce products that will have a clean label and also that we need to validate that some technology uh, is producing products that can be labeled as clean, so uh, to have cleaner production. Also, the aim is uh, to have zero waste, so nothing is wasted until it's, so it's nothing is wasted until it's wasted, so to use byproducts and return energy and mass into the food production chain. So less than 20% of world uh, largest food companies are aiming to reduce their emission in line with cli climate science. And also we have uh, different kind of scores that are awarded to companies, efforts on environmental, nutritional, societal, societal and uh, overarching governance. So we have uh, a different kind of scores and uh, no company scored more than 72 out of possible 100. So the highest score went to Unilever with Nestle. And uh, also the aim is that uh, co companies uh, go towards low energy consumption and production and uh, to have less uh, impact to the, to the uh, environment. So a low emission. Uh, we have an example from Nestle. Uh, they, they have net zero roadmap. And the aim is to reach by 2050 net zero production. So they are uh, calculating uh, the end sourcing uh, of uh, different kind of ingredients and the aim is to reduce and uh, the emissions by 50% until 2030 and by 2050 to go uh, towards net zero production. So without any uh, emission. Uh, so for uh, food waste and food loss, we have uh, different kind of uh, emissions. We have also different kind of uh, charts and different kind of uh, uh, graphs that can be found uh, on the databases uh, regarding uh, different kind of emissions by, by country and also by continents. And we have uh, seen the huge amount of uh, global uh, gas emissions from food systems uh, over the entire, uh, entire world. So the aim is definitely to reduce the uh, emissions uh, because of the production and also because of the wastes. So key, key points uh, is uh, in food production to assure food safety quality with sustainability approach and also to reduce uh, uh, energy consumption and also to have a better economy approach. So regarding circularity, so to go towards circular economy and also to have less impact to the environment. So how can we achieve this through process, product and waste? So to monitor total quality index of our product, quality function deployment, use of uh, life cycle assessment to monitor uh, really life cycle assessment, a life cycle uh, of product, each product from raw material to the final product. Also to monitor waste, to have a waste management and also to have management of waste waters. Uh, so the aim is uh, to uh, have recycle, reduce and reuse and also to assure ecologic, economic uh, and environmentally friendly approach. So regarding sustainability and sustainable food systems in general, also regarding vegan food processing is important to follow the sustainability regulation uh, and rules. So uh, we have three pillars of sustainability, impact to the society, uh, economy and uh, environment. Also, there is a need to assure sustainable and healthy diets and also access to food and uh, to have a wise food production and distribution.
So uh, with uh, this in mind, uh, we need to also to optimize food production in the industry and also to implement different kind of tools that we can digitalize, optimize and monitor food processing uh, into food industry. So uh, the aim is uh, to, go, to go and to step into the food industry 4.0 and to use the tools like uh, uh, cyber security, of course, for the security of the food systems. Also to use different kind of sensors and to monitor uh, production and control of uh, food production into, uh, in the entire food production chain. Therefore, we can tackle sustainable development goals like no poverty, zero hunger, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy. Also, what is really important responsible consumption and production and the aim uh, with climate action life below water and life on land so another great driver to focus on is the need to obtain uh, efficient low energy low temperature processing by achieving food safety and food quality so uh, we have different kind of achievement uh, in example in food production biotechnology and uh, different kind of areas also uh, regarding nutrition so we can use uh, novel techniques uh, in order to assure uh, useful products and technologies. Uh, by using uh, technology, digitalization, optimization, we can also have uh, less CO2 uh, emission uh, into the entire production chain. And also we can use biotechnology in agriculture, uh, breeding, and also to uh, contribute to goals around hunger and poverty. Uh, by uh, making uh, more crops resistant to certain uh, pests and also to grow more uh, crops. Also, the idea is to have interdisciplinary action and also to uh, use, uh, in example, different kind of sources uh, of proteins. Like, in example, we can use uh, algae. Also, we can use different kind of technologies like uh, bioreactors. Also, we can use biomass uh, in order to produce uh, different kind of products that can be in line with sustainable uh, development goals. Uh, so also we can use uh, marine biotechnology to contribute uh, to global challenges uh, such as food and uh, fuel security. So we can uh, discuss about uh, different kind of uh, ecology and uh, environmental approach. Also we can use, uh, use nature-based strategies and also different kind of uh, biogas uh, production uh, upgrading and also to use uh, microorganisms in a sustainable uh, way. So we can use microalgae uh, also uh, in, uh, uh, with the aim of uh, environmental uh, impacts, so to reduce the impact uh, to the environment and also to use in different kind of production processes. We can use novel uh, microalgal products uh, to support environmental, economic and development goals and also sustainable uh, produced uh, microalgal uh, biomass for energy, food and chemical development. Also regarding uh, biotechnology, food technology and nutrition, in general, when discussing about sustainability, we need to think about nutrition. So definitely the aim is to think about uh, nutrition uh, with uh, more uh, vegan based and uh, vegan uh, products with uh, the aim of preserving the uh, environment, especially uh, because of the land use uh, for the animal production, therefore for uh, vegan uh, uh, diets for plant uh, crops, we are using less uh, land field than uh, versus uh, animal production. Also, uh, when investing in the good nutrition based on uh, in, uh, SDGs, we uh, really have the return of investment regarding sustainable consumption and also uh, impact uh, uh, to the consumer's needs and to way, the way it, of thinking. So by nutrition, we are tackling uh, almost all SDGs. Uh, we have also uh, different kind of documents, different kind of legislation regarding food security and nutrition in the world. And also the aim is definitely to tackle uh, second sustainable development goal. So this is zero hunger. Uh, also, we have uh, different kind of uh, nutrients uh, diets that we need uh, to assure for the consumers. So we need to assure healthy diet, nutri nutrient adequate diet and also energy sufficient diet. And also we need to find the, the aim. Uh, and also we need to uh, have um, uh, SDGs, uh, in example, uh, affordable 
food for uh, everyone in the world. So also this is a social so, uh, impact to the society. Uh, by, the, by this, we need to improve policies to reduce the cost of nutritious foods and also to ensure affordability of healthy diets. So we need to significantly, uh, significant uh, transform the policies and also food systems. Also, we need to uh, prepare policies and strategies to reduce the cost of nutritious food. So the aim is to uh, have sustainable food systems in order to ensure sustainable food consumption and also food waste reduction. Uh, also, we have different kind of uh, policies uh, to reduce the cost, and uh, it's uh, estimated that the cost and uh, affordability of diets around the world suggest that there are more than 3 billion people that cannot afford a healthy diet, and more than 1.5 billion that cannot afford a diet that meets the required levels of essential nutrients. So in uh, nutrition decade, it's important to have a different kind of framework, also to act uh, to uh, assure that uh, every people, uh, every uh, person on the planet uh, can have affordable and nutritious uh, food. Also, uh, definitely to uh, have uh, uh, adequate uh, nutritive uh, diets. So we have different uh, different uh, action areas uh, for the, uh, in example, sustainable designed food systems for healthy diets. Also, uh, area aligned uh, healthy systems providing universal coverage of essential nutrition action. Also, so, uh, social protection and nutrition education. Also, area where we can uh, enforce trade and investment for improved nutrition, and also area to assure safe and supportive environments for nutrition uh, at all ages. There is also need to strengthen uh, governance and accountability uh, for nutrition. So it's important to have legislation and uh, policies to uh, go in line with sustainable development goals. So we have key uh, recommendation uh, by Food and uh, Agriculture Organization of the United Nations uh, for improving nutrition through agriculture and food systems. So it's uh, important to have appropriate activities to address any uh, the types and causes of malnutrition and also to fight uh, those uh, uh, causes of malnutrition. In example, to prepare different kind of programs and investments that can strengthen the impact on nutrition. So uh, nutrition is essential for the success of all SDGs. So uh, to go beyond uh, goal two, uh, second uh, goal, zero hunger. So the aim is to achieve the, the SDGs. Uh, also, there is a need to think about uh, vegan uh, uh, consumption, more vegan products, uh, because, uh, in example, most emissions uh, from the production and trade of EU food supply are caused, uh, in example, by uh, consumption of, in example, imported, uh, imported products. Also for uh, the uh, egg or meat consumption, there is really a largest share of food supply emission in all EU countries. So the aim is to use vegetable oils and oil seeds, uh, cereals, uh, rice, uh, fruits, vegetables, nuts that uh, have a lower CO2 emission because of the consumption. So by uh, quality diet, we can tackle uh, different SDGs like no poverty, zero, zero hunger, good health and well-being. Uh, so by using quality education, we can uh, educate our consumers how to think about sustainability and how to have quality diet. Also, we can uh, uh, tackle responsible consumption production, production SDGs and also to tackle climate action, life be uh, below water and life uh, on land. Future efforts need to be uh, focused on uh, target uh, 4.7. So this is education for sustainable development and global citizenship. So the, the aim is uh, to have strategic goals and to think about waste management uh, with waste uh, uh, reduction of waste during processing and also reducing the risk of waste during processing based waste management and sustainable processes. Also the edu education of future experts, experts in food production and nutrition science. So uh, definitely transform education towards implementing of sustainable development uh, goal. So this is a mission 4.7 from Center for Sustainable Development and uh, SDG Academy. Also, we need to think about Industry 4.0 and Industry 5.0. Uh, 
where there is a need and also there is a strategy to uh, monitor uh, waste and wasting, uh, including industrial upcycling. Also, we need to think about sustainable uh, development goals in Society 5.0, where there is a new phase in human development in which technology is seamlessly integrated in our daily lives. So the, uh, the, the aim is to use uh, information uh, like in for industrial revolution, revolution and the data is really the most important uh, factor. So the open data performance expectancy is a critical factor for the user technology acceptance and also to monitor and to prepare models for future implementation in the industry uh, 5.0 and 4.0 and also to have impact in area of society 5.0. So by boosting food production, by smart agriculture, smart production, and also to use different kind of digitalization, optimization, in example, to boost food production. So this is, uh, this is the goal. So uh, regarding this introduction sustainability, what is really important uh, to think about uh, 17 sustainable development goals. So this is a partnership for the goals, where there is a need to have uh, interdisciplinary action of farmers, food processors, food traders, consumers and different kind of stakeholders like policymakers, academia, uh, assessment services that can uh, really um, join strengths uh, in order to assure sustainability and sustainable food production. So also uh, during uh, green skills module, you can use different kind of sources and different kind of documents that is uh, that are implemented in these documents.